Hey out there, it's Wake Angel 2001 Still getting a couple of things sent in. This box is a little awkward. Um, I, it's hard to figure out which way I had to hold it because uh, the addresses are written on both sides. It's like he started writing it on one side, then lost confidence and wrote on the other side, and the sticker got put on one side. And it's a little awkward, so I just gotta hold it this way. It's from a guy named Jonathan. So, Jonathan, you should recognize what comes out of here once I open it. Uh, let me get out my scissors to cut the tape. Yep. A scissor is just an is just two knives with a hinge. <laughs> I don't I just put a new blade on my X-Acto knife and I wanna I don't wanna dull it by cutting tape. You know, X-Acto knife blades don't grow on trees. You gotta go down to Michael's and buy them. Though I, I think I should get a new X-Acto knife handle. The handle I have is pretty worn out. Uh Okay, this is a reaper. Ah! Barking peanuts again! Um, ah, yes! Oop, oop, oop. It's a froppy! Yes, indeed! Um, so this is probably to. Wait, is Jonathan who I think he is? Hold on. I have my laptop right here, and I can. Yes! Jonathan is one of the guys on the Shorter Rouge list. Yes, like, um, anyone who wants to commission a Rouge the Bad Figure gets to be put on a much shorter list than my regular queue. So, I see. Jonathan wants a Rouge the Bat. So, he sent me... I told him, okay, yeah, I'll put you on the Shorter Rouge queue, but I just need the Froppy figure to be used as the base. So he went ahead and sent it. So, um, yeah, once I finish, um, what am I working on? I guess, I guess once I'm done with this Shantae figure, then I'll, then I'll start this Rouge one for him. You know, because all he wants is a Rouge and only a Rouge, so shorter list. Gotta get, I gotta print myself out some Rouge parts. Yep. I guess to get Froppy out of there. I actually do like the Froppy figure. Like I said, I mean, I just outright have one of these because I like the figure itself. So I have one that I make, I have no intention of ever customizing in anything just because I like her. That being said, she is a pretty good custom base. Yep. Only, the only thing is, like, when you completely straighten out her legs, they look kind of weird because Froppy, thanks to her, her frog quirk, actually always stands with her legs slightly bent. Okay, nice tight joints on this one, so I don't have to worry about it being too floppy. Yep, so we have also Froppy, who is going to be a rouge. That's going to be nice. We would like that. I'm pretty sure everyone likes that. Going to have a rouge coming soon. Okay, so that's an upcoming rouge figure. I guess, um... Aside from that half-made Shantae, I don't have a lot on my desk at the moment. I was... Shantae is the only one who's in mid-phase right now. I did just finish Maddie the Husky. Her proper video will be coming up later. I should have it edited by tonight. Um, I guess the only thing I can do is, uh... Oh! Um... Yeah, there's, uh... There's, um... Okay. This, um, this slightly damaged Tails figure was sent to me by a person named Jonathan. So, uh, person name, a person from Gmail with the username Jonathan. Like, if you, if that sounds any, somewhat familiar to you, then, um, and it is apparently from the, from the UK, so this is a British commissioner. I, I sent you an email responding to you saying I got up to your figure and I can customize it, but I haven't received the reply yet. So just in case there's any kinds of um, alterations to the character design, I want to be able to contact you first before I, I break ground and start customizing this into your character. But, um, you know, like, you haven't responded to the email, so I need to be confirmed with that. Like. Um, hopefully you're still watching me on YouTube and will be able to like respond like like 
e either in the comments or by finally coming up with the email like, oh, hey, um, I forgot to check my email for some reason. So, yes, let us do that. Here's any minor changes to my character before you commit to doing anything. Because I do not like to break grounds on a figure without, without um, you know, doing that kind of thing. And I guess I can also show a couple of other previews. Uh, this is a Disney Baloo figure. Um, it's going to be the base for the Saturday morning Sonic cartoon styled Rotor. Uh, Corey is making the 3D model for Rotor's head as we speak. It's a little bit more of a complex process because Rotor deviates from the standard Sonic style more so than any other character from the cartoon. Um, here's Antoine. Uh, as you can see, uh, he'll be standing next to it. He will be noticeably shorter, which is good, because Rotor, being a walrus, is bigger than everyone else. And he's going to be slightly taller still, because um, his head is going to be bigger than Baloo's head. Um, also, there was a little bit of a controversy. At least one person mentioned that Antoine's proper name should be Antoine de Pardieu, not de Coulier. Like... De Coulier was a name given to him in the comic book, and apparently Depardieu was his original name. Um, the thing is, I never heard Antoine's surname said in the cartoon. So if his name was Antoine Depardieu in the cartoon, no one ever actually said it out loud. The only time that I ever recall the name Antoine Depardieu ever being used was in the super, when when Robotnik set off the Super Genesis wave, which um, which temporarily reconfigured everything so that Sonic went through an uh, a version of Green Hill and the and the Saturday Morning cast was just kind of stuck in there. Uh, so yeah, like I I'm guessing that Depardieu was meant to be his name and it was an Easter egg, but you know. He, it was never said out loud in the cartoon. Therefore, as far as I'm concerned, Antoine's surname had always been De Coulier because, well, to me, when I was a kid, it was De Coulette because I didn't know how to read French names. But yeah, like, the um, De Coulier was the oldest surname that I had been familiar to him by. And if he had secretly been known by that in the cartoon, well, you're really expecting some eight-year-old kid to know the secret Easter eggs that are only in the production notes and are never actually said on screen. You know, like, when you're a kid, if it's not on screen, it doesn't exist. So, the surname Depardieu didn't exist. So, no. Um, he's always going to be Antoine de Coulier to me. That's just how it is. I also have a... Uh... I haven't actually started dismantling yet, but this is going to become a foxy avatar character. I have uh, an extra Tails head from the Jack Specific Tails. Gonna go on to this Sonic body. And I have, um, these are not from the Jack Specific Tails. They are from Jazzwares Classic Tails, but they should be about the right size, so I should be able to work with them. Like, no sense dismantling a perfectly innocent Tails figure if I don't have to. So, if possible, I'm going to see if I can leave that Tails figure intact and just use these parts. This is the Tails head that was left over when I made Bunny. Not Bunny. Um, Cream. When I made Cream. Yes. So I should also have Tails' Tails left over, but I cannot for the life of me remember where I put them. Um... Wait. No! No, no, I didn't use that for cream. I didn't use tails for cream. I use it to make... That is a tails head that was left over when I made a Marine the Raccoon. Yes, Marine resembles cream, so I got mixed up in my brain space somehow. Yes, I made that Marine the Raccoon figure, and the, I cut the tails off, but left the part in so it could still rotate. So somewhere in my house, there is a cut-off Tails tail from the Jack Specific tail, but I don't remember where it is. <clears throat> so if, if it turns out that those aren't the right size, then I'll tear my apartment around up, up to find those other tails. Okay, so I showed off what was in the box, previewed future projects, what I'm working on right now. Hopefully Maddie will have her video up tonight, and uh, I guess that's all that we need for this. Uh, this is Wake Angel 2001, signing off.